Hi guys, welcome to another Vlogmas. I believe today is gonna be Vlogmas day 10. All right, had to bump up the ISO a little bit so that way you guys could see me a little bit better in here. But hello, welcome to Vlogmas day 10. Make sure you guys are subscribed, leave a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying Vlogmas, and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've been watching every single video. I appreciate all of your comments. You guys are amazing. And I've been loving responding to you guys. So for today's vlogmas and the cozy season, I figured today's vlog we would focus on all things winter and cozy. So all of my winter essentials and all of my favorite cozy winter items. I want to kindly thank Lulu's for working with me on today's video. They sent over a ton of cute winter items and I'm so freaking excited. These are probably the cutest winter items that I own now. And I am I am gonna be living in the cutest fashion pieces from Lulu's this winter. I need to share them all with you guys. So we are gonna kick off this vlog with a little haul from Lulu's. So let's jump into that really quick. So this is the first jacket that they sent over. I have actually been living in this all day today. This is the coziest, fuzziest little teddy jacket I have ever worn in my entire life. And it's just the softest thing. It's all of my favorite colors, you guys already know. It's got cute little buttons up the front and you can also zip it up, which is really nice. And of course, pockets aren't essential for me in winter coats. The inside of it has a super nice like gold kind of lining and it goes like that all the way through the sleeves. And it's just got this nice cozy like fluffy collar. It's the best. I have truly been living in a cozy outfit today. All right, next up we have this really cute pair of denim. Bentley, of course, has to be in the shot. You guys already know, he loves the attention. But these are probably my favorite jeans I've gotten off of Lulu. Sorry, Bubs, you gotta move out of the way so I can show them my jeans. You guys are obsessed with the Pistola <laughs> collection from Lulu's. Okay, back it up, bud. So you guys have been obsessed with the Pistola jeans. I've shown these quite a few times on my Instagram and a few other times when I've worked with Lulu's. And every single time I show like this brand of jeans, you guys go crazy over them. So I saw that they actually had a black pair of denim on the site and I was like, I need these in my life. So I have these in like a lighter blue denim and then I have them in a really, really light blue. And those ones are the ones that are like crazy ripped. I always get questions on where those are from. Those are from Lulu's as well. But these are just so comfortable. I love them and they always stretch out after you wear them for a little while. So they're super cozy. So cute, I love these. These are perfect for like that looser fit of jean but it still gives you some like nice structure. All right, this next item I feel like is just so trendy this year. I feel like everyone is wearing this print. I thought this would be super fun to pick up. I loved the little two-tone at the top here. It's got a fun little pocket up at the top and then it does have pockets on the side over here and then it just buttons up nicely along the front. But I felt like this would just be such a fun piece. It kind of strays away from my traditional. I feel like I'm very simple with all of my jackets. Like they're all very like beige or black or neutral colors, but this one is a little more fun. I feel like it'll dress up some of my like very simple outfits, just that little bit more. All right, so this next one is definitely a little more out there for me as well. You guys know I stick to my very like toned neutral colors, but I just saw this color on the website and I was obsessed. It's a really pretty like burnt orange and I like it because it's not like too crazy out there. It's still such like a neutral color. It fits with everything in my wardrobe. Bomber jackets are such a staple in my wardrobe in the fall and winter time. And I personally love layering them with like hoodies and sweatshirts like this, but this one has one that's already like built in. So they are already attached and then you can like snap this on here so that it just kind of looks like it's layered and gives it like nice dimension. And the other thing that I love about this is the fuzzy lining in this. And this goes all the way through the sleeves. So if you wanted to just wear like a t-shirt or a tank underneath this, you get that like super soft fuzzy on the inside and it's just the coziest thing. It's a little more like oversized, which is really nice because this would definitely keep me warm in the winter time. I'm already warm wearing this just in my apartment right now, but I think this would be so fun to dress up a very simple outfit. You guys know I just, I keep things very simple, but I feel like come fall and winter time, jackets are the piece that you can use as like your statement piece because you want to bundle up and keep warm, but you also kind of want to have like that cute little addition to your outfit and for me 
that's where my jackets come into play. It also has a hood as well, which is really nice. I love like the layering style with bomber jackets, especially when it's like rainy outside. So this is, this is perfect. I'm so excited for this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. This, this is just cozy and I just, I'm so obsessed with it. I could literally bundle up in this and be cozy all day. This one is a piece that I honestly just feel like has been missing from my wardrobe every single year. Like this is just such an easy piece to dress up and keep it so simple. It's just a really nice like tan beige cropped cardigan. I don't have too many like cropped cardigans like this. I feel like a lot of mine are full length and I wear a lot of like high-waisted stuff. So this one is really nice. It's really flattering. I love the crochet detail pattern on the front. Let me turn my ISO down a little. Can you see that? Look how pretty this is. I saw another YouTuber wearing something like this in one of their Instagram posts. And I was like, I need that in my life. And then I saw it on Lulu's website and I was like, yes, I am sold. This is gonna be the perfect piece. I love this so much. It's so flattering, just like all the way around. And I love that it's like a nice V-neck cut. So if you wanted, you could wear like a higher up shirt under this. You could layer this with like a mock neck or a turtleneck or something. That would be really cute too if you don't like the super low cut, but it's also nice, it's just like, a low cut cardigan as well like this is just so pretty and so flattering i'm so excited this this is definitely a staple piece to have in your wardrobe all right this last top is another piece that i realized was missing from my wardrobe i think i own in total one other black sweater which is also from lulu's i have worn that thing so much all of last winter and i absolutely love it um, but that one is a little more cropped and it's a lot thicker so it's nice to wear just like on its own so i wanted another black sweater that was a little bit longer which i like that this one is definitely longer in the back so you can wear this with leggings i love sweaters like that um, and then this one is a lot thinner but it's kind of like that blanket material i don't know if you guys can see that but this thing is so freaking soft so this is comfortable to wear on its own or i like that it's thin enough to where i could throw a sweater or not a sweater a jacket on top of it if i needed to like layer up just a little bit more but this is so cozy. It's such a nice material. This reminds me of like a sweater that you would wear to like a really nice like holiday party, like family holiday party. It's just like that nice and I really love it. It's got a little bit of that like balloon sleeve going on at the end here. Overall, it's just so cozy and it's such a pretty like black color. The last item that I have to share with you guys are these really cute like winter boots. I'm obsessed with these. You guys know I love my Doc Martens. They actually sell Doc Martens on the Lulu's website as well. But these are so cute, so cozy, and like such a winter vibe. I love the color of the boot as well. I don't have anything that is this color. I think most of like my boots and booties are all black. I got these in a size eight. I'm usually a seven and a half, so there's a little bit of room in them, but I typically like to wear um, my booties with super thick like fuzzy socks so that way i'm like extra warm i love the little fur lining on them such a cute little detail and i'm obsessed these are the cutest thing i can wear these when i need to take bentley out in the mornings and such and just look super cute huge thank you to lulu's for sending all of those cute pieces over if you guys want to check out any of the items that i just shared with you guys i will have all of the links and information and such in the description box down below all right guys next up for cozy vibes you already know my cave showers are a freaking vibe this little thing is from amazon um i love this because you can like usb charge it and then you don't have to have it plugged in because usually your bathroom only has one plug so i keep mine on my little shelf thing and it just gives a vibe in this whole place the other thing that I just recently added to uh, my cape shower vibes. Let me turn the light on for this since you guys can see it better. Is this baby, this robe. This, this towel robe is probably the best thing I have ever purchased and added to my nightly shower routine. I'm gonna hop in the shower and uh, I'll share with you guys all the cozy vibes afterwards because that baby is worth it. Well, I also need to wash that. I'm 
almost forgot. That's better. This is quite literally the coziest, comfiest thing to hang out in after a shower. And since it's like that towel material, it dries you off as you just hang out. Not to mention my slippers. These are an absolute winter cozy tan essential. I love them so much. Twinkly lights are always the vibe at night. This just gets me in like the coziest mood and it gets me so ready to just wind down for bed. Also, you guys already know this one too. My little star projector. This thing is the absolute best. Bentley loves it too. It just, it sets the mood for the night. And I literally wouldn't want it any other way. All right guys, last thing to set the mood because mood lighting is absolutely key for a cozy vibe is my little smart light i love this thing so dang much you can change it to any color that you want or you can make it like a bright white daylight or just like a regular um, yellow bulb and uh, this is probably my favorite thing ever in my entire apartment i have one in here and one in my living room and it just creates the best vibe at night. And uh, look at him. I'm already getting all cozy in my bed. <laughs> I love this thing. I feel like the next thing that I need to find is like a fuzzy robe for like post shower drying. Something that I can change into that's like super fuzzy. If you guys have any recommendations for that, please leave them down below. That would be much appreciated. Good morning, guys coming to you bright and early on this Wednesday morning. I'm gonna continue to share some winter essentials to add to the coziness. But first, my Christmas tree. I try to remember to turn this baby on every morning because I forget about it at night, most nights, and then otherwise I don't get to enjoy the twinkly lights and all of my hard work that went into putting up this tree. So let's plug it in. Pardon me, sir. She's a beaut. I am truly proud of her. I never found a tree skirt. This was an old blanket from my mom's house that ended up turning into a dog blanket because Bentley kind of chewed it up. So I just used it as the tree skirt for this year and it worked out because it matched with everything in here. Did you get your ball stuck under there again, Bubba's? Next essential for the winter time, of course, our candles. I light a candle every single morning. I will make myself a hot cup of tea, sit right in this chair, do a little meditation, watch some YouTube, catch up on emails or something, but lighting a candle is a must. He for sure got his ball stuck under there. buy more of the USB lighters. I only have one of them and I like having a lighter like kind of near where I light each candle so that way I don't have to like constantly move it and lose it. So this is an old one that I have so I'm just going to use up the rest of this and then I'll probably buy another USB one to keep in the living room area. And there we have it. I still need to take that off too. That's just gonna be a chore that I don't feel like doing quite yet because I have to get like nail polish remover and scrub that off. Let the cozy vibes commence. He's so cute. Plays soccer with his tennis balls and it's the cutest thing I have ever seen until he gets them stuck behind things that he knows he's not supposed to go into. <laughs> My go-to. I love a good English breakfast tea for my cup of tea in the morning. I think a 
whole other day later. And I think I might be wearing the same exact outfit that I, <laughs> I was wearing. Ah, I'm kind of glad I'm not like daily vlogging because I forgot to pick up the camera yesterday, so. Here we are two days later. I still have some cozy essentials that I want to share with you guys, but I don't think this vlog is that long because I completely forgot about filming. Uh, I'm making myself a little liquid IV this morning. I uh, had one of my friends come over last night and we ended up drinking like just a little bit much. So I'm going to revive myself this morning. This is much needed. I feel like I've woken up and I'm in such a like hazy headspace. Like it's so weird because I slept in today. I think she left at like midnight last night. So Bentley and I didn't go to bed until what time? At least like maybe one by the time I showered because I had to wash my hair and everything last night. Um, and we woke up literally just like 20 minutes ago. It's nine o'clock right now. And I have to leave to go meet my mom in um, like an hour to get some stuff from her. But I woke up and there's another fire here and it just, it felt so weird walking outside this morning. Like I just, I feel so thrown off today. And uh, another fire, we literally just had one in the same spot a month ago. Um, so I really hope everyone is okay. Uh, that's really, that's really rough, that's not fun. Um, and I was outside taking Bentley out this morning for the five minutes that we were out there and there was ash falling all over us. I also haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm still pretty tired. I have about an hour before I need to leave. I gotta sip on my, my liquid IV and uh, get myself ready to go and meet my mom. Let me share a few other cozy essentials that I wanted to share with you guys um, in this vlog. Since we are focusing on cozy things, I want to share. That's pretty loud, probably. I want to share the cute beanies that I've been loving so far for this season. I I love a good beanie. I have a nice stock here. I think my other one is actually in the front. Um, but with winter and the cold weather approaching, a must are some gloves. I've legit had these probably for five years. These things are a lifesaver, especially with Renaud's. I was so surprised with how many of you also commented and said that you guys struggle with it too. So I feel way less alone in that now. And uh, I'm very happy about that. It sucks that we all struggle with it, but I, it's nice to feel like less alone. All right, we've got some good options for beanies. This one is one of my favorites. Super cozy, Amazon delivery. I didn't order anything, did I? I don't think I did. I'm trying to do a no by December, so, so far that's actually been going fantastic. I do, you guys will see quite a few other things arrive throughout Vlogmas, um, but those were ordered before December 1st, before I started like this no buy, and I'm really doing my best to stick with it. This next beanie, this is another good one that I like to have in my collection. I love these ones. Honestly, I haven't worn this one too much, and I think I've had it, like, for probably a few years now. Um, it is kind of tight, and I have a small head, so <laughs> I probably need to wear it a bit and, like, stretch it out, and it'll be more comfortable. This other one you guys were obsessed with. I love this one. This one is so cute. Like, I just, I love the color of this. This is the best freaking color. I love neutrals when it comes to cozy stuff and then this one I have yet to wear but again the color is so on brand for me and it's got a cute little puff ball like I'm, I'm excited about this come here bubba's and then I got a green one these are literally all of my favorite cozy beanies 
And then the very last one that we have is a black beanie. And honestly, honestly, you could live with like mm -hmm. one good classic black beanie in your life and you'd be set for like yeah. cozy wintertime essentials. Uh, but personally, I love to mix it up, switch up the colors. It's just, it's way more fun. Those are, those are just some other essentials for the winter time. I need to get one of those like uh, rechargeable hand warmers. Uh, I think I've seen them all over TikTok, people talking about them, but that's probably something I should invest in too, is one of those rechargeable ones. Cause I typically buy the ones that are like in the packet and you like shake it. Um, it would be nice to just have one that's like reusable. That would actually be really handy. I feel like my hair is just all over the place today. This is what happens when you don't do anything to your hair after you shower and you just sleep. <laughs> this is what happens for me. It's so nice to look at my camera and not have crazy yellow lighting anymore. Like the white lights just make such a difference. I love it so much. <laughs> I'm back home now. Uh, my mom gave me a bunch of stuff that I needed to pick up from her. I was on TikTok the other day and I saw someone post about this good deal at Costco for these Bodum glasses. And I think theirs were like $12 in their Costco. I think we paid $17 for these. Um, so there's eight in here. There's four of the super short ones and then four of the taller ones. I already have four tall-ish ones. These are the ones that I have that I found on Amazon. Um, I think these might actually be the same size. So now I have four more of these. So I'm excited about that. My mom took the shorter ones because I was like, I don't need that many glasses, but I do like these for my coffees and such because they're double walled. So there's no like condensation issues or anything like that. So it's really nice when you don't want to have to use a coaster. I also got a five gallon jug of water for my dad. We're actually just gonna like share our water service so I don't have to turn on like a, a water delivery service for here. Um, so he's just adding two more bottles to his service that he already gets every month. Since I already drive over there to get my lashes and my hair done, usually my lashes are at least twice a month. Um, I'm just gonna pick up the two water bottles from him whenever I see him. So he gave me one to get me through the next week because I don't think his water delivery is until like sometime next week. So I'll probably get, pick up my water from him in a few weeks, but nice little way to save money. So it's cheaper to just add two bottles onto his service than starting a whole new service for my apartment. I also get a lot of questions about my water cooler. Uh, this is from Primo. I did a deal with them quite some time ago when I was at my mom's and I love it because I don't have to buy water bottles and it does hot and cold water and it's probably the best investment you could make for like a water servant. <laughs> what, what am I trying to say? It's honestly probably the best investment you can make and then you're also not having to buy single-use plastic bottles. So I love it. Um, and then you can always get like different types of water. Um, I personally just get like the regular purified water. My dad likes the spring water. Um, and then alkaline water is also really good. Uh, they don't actually have it with the company that he does his deliveries from, so I'm just gonna get like the purified water. But I think it's like $8 for five gallon jug of water. So I pay 16 bucks for two giant gallons and that lasts me, because it's just me, that lasts me an entire month. So it's $16 for water for the entire month is solid and you guys see I use it every single morning for my tea and uh, it's really nice. I love it. That was one thing that I was already going to invest in when I moved out on my own and then the company reached out and wanted to work with me and it honestly just worked out. I love it and my dad does the same thing with his water. It's, uh, it's a wonderful thing and I love this so dang much. So there's my little info on my water dispenser because I have seen a lot of you guys asking about it so hopefully that answers most of your guys' questions. Goodness, it's 2 p.m. now and I am exhausted. I am so tired. It's so smoky outside. It's just not pretty and uh, I think I'm just gonna take a nap, honestly. I can't work out or put any makeup on and film or do anything because you're not supposed to get your lashes wet or be in steam for like 24 hours after 
you get your lashes done. So I'm just gonna take it easy the rest of today. We're gonna get cozy in my bed and just chill out. I'm so excited for that. The last, I think, cozy essential that I have to share with you guys for the winter time I personally use mine all year round, but it's definitely like a nice winter item. <laughs> uh, it's a weighted blanket. You guys ask me a lot about my weighted blanket. I love it. I think the one that I have is like the 20 pound weighted blanket. I started with like the 12 or the 15 worked up, or maybe it's the 15, I don't know. It's anywhere from 15 to 20 pounds for the blanket and it fits perfectly across my king bed. And I usually, my bed is not made. <laughs> The real life here uh <laughs> i hide it underneath that um, blanket that bentley lays on and it's pretty much always on my bed and i love it it's the the absolute best thing to make your bed feel so cozy and comfy and if you struggle with anxiety and sleeping that's a must because that thing has like changed the game for me i've been using one for well over a year now because I think I got my first weighted blanket when I was living at my dad's like super early on in the year so I've, I've been using a weighted blanket for at least two years now by far the best investment I've ever made I think I probably paid like anywhere from 50 to 80 dollars for this weighted blanket but they last so long I gave my other one to my mom because it was a little bit smaller and lighter and I wanted a heavier one so she has my lighter one and then honestly this is gonna last me such a long time like I don't I don't see myself having to buy another one for a very long time so definitely check those out if uh, you're interested in a weighted blanket I highly recommend one after using one for two years I literally cannot sleep without it all right guys time to get the vibes cozy in here first thing that we got to do always put on the Christmas tree I got to fully enjoy having the Christmas tree lit up uh, for the entire month of December. We're making it happen. It's a freaking vibe. I love it. I love it so much. I literally didn't even get dressed today, guys. This is how lazy I have been feeling <laughs> this morning. Didn't even brush my hair. It's, uh, it's a bit of a mess, but it's, it's fine. This is what my natural hair usually looks like. It's a, it's a cute look. <laughs> What's up, Bubba's? Hello. Hi, handsome. Is that your ball that you have squished and flattened and it squeaks no more? Yeah, that is. <laughs> we gotta light the candles, get the cozy vibes in here. Hello, sir. super zoomed in. Totally haven't done my dishes from last night either. Welcome to my Ooh. Thursday. There we have it. I've kind of noticed that these USB lighters don't really work on the Woodwick ones, so I have to use one of these, but quite nice. All right, guys, we are going to end off this vlog with a cup of tea, a cozy cup of tea, and I am going to sit down and binge some Vlogmas videos. I feel like I need some Vlogmas content in my life. You guys know my go-to tea is basically the medicine ball that they have at Starbucks. Uh, it's the Tea Ivana teas, the Jade Citrus Mint, and the Peach Tranquility. You do one bag of each and a splash of lemonade in your hot water. And that's how I make mine. They make it a little bit different at Starbucks. They will usually add in a packet of honey and do half hot water, half lemonade. Uh, but I personally just like a little splash of lemonade in mine and uh, it's less sweet that way. I love making mine in like giant venti size cups. The stainless steel ones are the best because they keep it warm. Got about that much hot water in there. And uh, now we just need the lemonade. This is the one that I use. And I'll just fill that up pretty much to the top area. And 
then we just see one tea bag of each. Hi, you can't have any tea, I'm sorry. This is for me. Finish it off with a straw. I don't know why, but I love drinking this tea with a straw. I don't know how that even came about, but here we have it. Cheers. Happy Vlogmas, day 10. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have all of the Lulu stuff linked down below and all of like the other cozy things that I mentioned throughout the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for day 11.